The Spanish Football Federation regional presidents have called for its president, Luis Rubiales, to resign. In a statement, it said his, quote, unacceptable behaviour has seriously damaged the image of Spanish football. Spain's top criminal court has also launched a preliminary sex abuse investigation after he was internationally condemned for kissing female Spanish player Jenny Hermoso on the lips to celebrate her team lifting the Women's World Cup in Sydney last weekend. Hermoso has since insisted she did not enjoy the kiss and that it wasn't consensual. The scandal continues to rock Spain with the country's far left wing deputy prime minister today slamming Rubiales' behaviour as, quote, showing the worst of Spanish society. But the debate is raging here too, with top Daily Mail columnist Sarah Vine arguing the moment has been blown completely out of proportion, writing, sure, it was misjudged, sure, it was inappropriate, but abuse? I really don't think so. So to debate this now, I'm joined by ex-top model and grid girl turned social commentator Lalani Dowdeen and the feminist author Anna Mae Mangan. So, Lalani, you believe this police investigation makes a bit of a mockery of genuine sex abuse? Absolutely. I think it's been completely blown out of proportion. I think the reaction has been totally disproportionate. Um, if that's sexual abuse, then I'm a victim of multiple sexual assaults. And as a victim of sexual assaults, I think it's absolutely abhorrent to diminish the real meaning of sexual assault when there's women, you know, getting dragged into alleyways, having men put hands up their skirts, touch them inappropriately, fiddle around with them when they're drunk. You know, this was somebody who gave this lady a quick peck on the lips for a, a millisecond in a big celebration because they just won the World Cup. Now, the day before or, or the day after, um, you saw the owner of a racehorse do exactly the same thing, grab the jockey by his cheeks and give him a big kiss to say, you know, thank you, you've won this race for us. And it's complete and utter double standards. Anna Mae Mangan, I mean, real passion from Lalani on this. We're having a look at the kiss now. When you see the video of it, Anna Mae, it did feel like a split-second moment, probably inappropriate, but it's something we see between male football players all the time. Yeah, well, this guy is a super brat because he did it in the moment, but he also rubbed his groin in front of the royal box that contained a 16-year-old girl. So obviously he thinks with his groin and he made a mistake. And the word peck doesn't apply to holding someone's head and giving them a smacker on the lips. I mean, I think of Wimbledon. Imagine the Princess of Wales uh, giving, uh, getting hold of Roger Federer and rubbing her lips against him. And would that be OK as well? It's not. And he wouldn't do it to a man. He would never have done it to a man. But worse still is I think they're taking advice from Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's PR team because the situation is getting worse by the hour. He, he could have stopped this. He could have been graceful. He could have given a genuine apology. He could not have threatened to sue her and said she lied when it wasn't consensual. He jumped on her, basically. And there was so much to celebrate. It's so sad that he's taken the whole team down with him in what was a magnificent achievement for women's football. He has ruined it. He scored an own goal. And it's it's unforgivable what he did, but 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 it could have he could have retrieved it if he dealt with it better. But, but he's I... angered everybody now. He needs to read the room and get well, out. L Lilani Dowding, he described the reaction as false feminism. <laughs> Well, look, here's the thing. I think that's what's happened is actually him rubbing his crotch was far worse than the quick kiss on the lips, first of all, you know, but that's not what he's um, being investigated for. So now they're using police time when there's legitimate sexual assaults going on. We have one percent. We've got all this airtime going on to rubbing this na guy's name through the mud when literally in this country, one percent of reported uh, rapes get a conviction. So, you know, we're using all this airtime to talk about a kiss. And another thing is this is a grown woman and, you know, she's supposed to be this tough feminist hero. But now in this moment, she's too meek and mild and a wallflower to say, get off me. Because if you didn't want that kiss, you get your hand and you say, get off me. Like, that's what you do. You don't play along with it and suddenly have this like 
faux outrage later on down the line. Like, what is wrong with people being able to stand up for themselves if she truly didn't want that kiss? Anna May. She's teen. She's just won the World Cup and she shouldn't be fighting off a randy coach on the sidelines when she's celebrating. And it's not like every sexual assault, although I'm not sure I would categorise this as that, but it's so certainly... Do you think that's a step behavior. too far? So, so you uh, think uh, calling yes. this as, as uh, because the police are looking into an investigation. So you actually agree yes, that we, that's a step I mean, too far. Uh, why are they looking into it? All the evidence is there. The world's already seen it. We've seen what he did. But his mummy is on hunger strike for him now. This is a man who's obviously since childhood never been told no, and he thinks he can do what he well, wants. Well, you don't know and that. And he's taken down. Anna, mate, you yeah, don't well, know do. that. His mother's no, on you don't know that. Oh, so we're going to mock the mum, are we? We're going to mock the mum, are we now? Actually, perhaps. Yeah. Yes, yes, for locking herself, yes, for defending her son's behaviour instead of saying... Oh, what a terrible herself. thing for yes. Mum to do. I mean, Lilani Dowling, perhaps the mum yeah. has seen her son's name being dragged through the mud and is truly devastated about it and wants oh, to stand up for son. him. And he did... Uh, well, yeah, right, he did no, nothing wrong. You know what, that. I don't think... Look, they were all celebrating and you said you don't think he would do it to a man. There were... You can go through archives of football where men do it to each other all, all the time. time. You've got, all the, you know, time. All the time. Even They're after a goal. Even after a goal. But you know what? The whole women's game is better. They're not throwing themselves on the floor and rolling around. They're not spitting. <laughs> no, it's They're a not fight. fighting. The whole women's so this, this was a chance fair. to lift football all these and it was missed. Against men. Okay, final word, Lilani. You're saying the women's game is a woke fest. It's a woke fest full of grievances against men. Megan Rapinoe moaning about pay not being equal to men when they don't get anywhere near the viewership or the sponsorship. You know, honestly, I didn't watch it. I'd rather go and weed the garden, which is what I did. <laughs> so don't get the respect for that trouble. Anna May Mangan, uh, brilliant debate. Thank you both so much. Now